The life you know, all the stuff you take for granted, it's not gonna last. Hard to believe it, but we are nearly halfway through the summer movie season. But the big budget sequels just keep marching on. For many movie fans, the biggest summer event of them all has just been launched. It's been nearly 20 years since the Terminator first redefined science fiction films, and now the third installment is ready to make its own kind of impact. Arnold Schwarzenegger returns as the Terminator, a robot sent back from the future to protect the human race from a nuclear war with a mechanical society. Arnold was last seen in this role a decade back with Terminator 2 Judgment Day, a landmark film that first introduced the world to the letters C and G, short for Computer Generated Effects. This time around, the effects are better, and so is the Terminator's foe, a femme fatale who's more dangerous than a thousand Hitchcock blondes. She is a machine. She's a machine like the Terminator, like my character, but she is stronger, she's faster, she's smarter, more sophisticated, has more tricks up her sleeves, has more weapons on her that she can produce in no time that are deadly weapons or blow up, you know, literally neighborhoods. There's a cardinal rule for film critics that when it comes to screening movies, don't ever watch a film with a preconceived opinion. Always enter the theater with eyes wide open and your mind a blank slate. But when it came to T3, try as I might, I broke that rule. The first two films were dark and intriguing explorations of not only special visual effects, but classic science fiction elements. It felt like a wonderful mix of Star Wars and The Twilight Zone and H.G. Wells and classic Ray Bradbury tales. The first two films said everything that needed to be said about science fiction. So why do you need to have a third chapter? Well, I'm pleased to report that T3 is not a waste of time. It's actually an effective and compelling addition to the complete Terminator saga. The action sequences seem to move with a sense of purpose and storytelling. Fresh characters are born where older ones have gone or don't simply exist anymore. And then you got good supporting actors like Claire Danes and the Fembot played by Kristana Loken. In short, director Jonathan Mostow adds a little bit of life, a little bit of humor, and some intrigue into an idea that seemingly ran its course successfully with Terminator 2 about 12 years ago. T3 is a surprisingly good, albeit unnecessary, continuation of the Terminator franchise. It gets three out of four stars and is rated R. Showtime's in theaters for T3. You can find it in one spot. That's going to be at KQ2.com. Just look right below the front row icon. We'll see you next time for more summer releases. I'm Bob Schultz for KQ2.